All right, well, Focus 50 Plus now, Dr. George Schofield joining us. Good, good morning. morning. And good morning to this you is and to you. Yeah, and this is a really interesting topic that I'm um, excited about because good. it talks about, we're talking about promises today, sort of the we do's are. and don'ts. The do's person. and don'ts, promises we make to ourselves. Yes. yes. So what happened this week was a man who's 80 came to see me saying he was worried about running out of money. I'm not a financial advisor, so I had to send him to mm -hmm. some, to one to do that. But he also talked about his lack of mobility his decreasing mobility, and he wished that he had taken better care of himself. What could he do? Right. Well, the answer is a lot of us assume that by the time we're a certain age, we know it all and we can go with what we knew before. Mm -mm. So Must it wasn't working for him. That's yeah. right. We have to pay. We have to pay attention. Okay. To so the do's and don'ts. To the do's and the don'ts. So example of a do, I'm going to exercise more. An example of a don't. I'm gonna, not going to smoke anymore, mm -hmm. okay? We have to pay attention to both the do's and the don'ts, but across our whole lifespan, it's not just when we're, when we're younger, Kathy. What do, how do you identify like, what is the best for you do's and don'ts? Well, how do the, you... the real question is what's serving you well? Okay. If, you, if you're going to really pay attention to the do's and the don'ts that are important for you now, the question is regardless of whether it served you earlier in your life when you were raising kids or when you were getting accustomed to no kids left in the house mm -hmm. anymore, and they are two different animals. Oh, yeah. Those things may not serve you well any, anymore. So the question is what are you doing that doesn't serve you well, and what are you not doing that you need to do that would serve you well? Those, how well is it serving you? That's the, that's the fulcrum. That's the tipping point. I know in, which, in a lot of other areas we've talked about having someone hold you accountable. So would right. you want maybe That's to bring right. in a buddy again? That's again? right. <laughs> the answer is buddy up. First right. of all, you have to know what what's important for you to not do right. or for you to do. Pay attention, write it down. But the second thing is mm -hmm. you want to buddy up. Find someone, one, that you trust, two, that's going to be pretty comfortable with this and not, and not start giving you tons of, a, of advice. Right. Three, somebody who might actually have the same issue so that you can do it together, whether it's working out at the gym together or going for a walk together or joining some, some organization or activity mm -hmm. together. Buddying up is really important because that's really easy if we just keep it to ourselves to not follow yeah. through. Yeah. That's so good. it isn't that I want the other person to tell me what to do, but if I make a commitment to me and to someone else, right. I'm more likely to follow through on what's important for me at 80 or any age. Right, don't want to let the other person down. So. Right, okay. right. Great advice, Thank as you. always. All right, see you next week. <laughs> see you then. Okay. All right, see you guys right after the break.